Hello, and welcome back to Bogo Dojo, everyone. Uh, Woo! Oh, that was fun. I will! Oh. And you did not get that. Great job. I was I was going to be a little cheeky and, and do There you Super go, Sonic. being all cheeky again, man. I was going to do Supersonic, which would force the mo uh, my momentum to go. Okay, here's your spot. Is this the spot? This is the spot. Oh. So, both uh, uh, Joe and I, when we were kids had big problems with this because originally we thought what you do is you jump uh -huh. and yep. force it down or you go in a hidden area over here yeah, right? which doesn't exist There's right. no hidden. so go ahead and jump off for a second okay what you do is you just use your directional pad are you for real you just go up are you serious that's what it was yep oh my gosh <laughs> That's so. That's, that's all it was. I don't think I ever figured that out. That's uh, whoa. <laughs> that's stupid. It it is. There was that nothing. is accurate. That is very stupid. There is nothing in the game that led you to learn that, right? No. I mean, we've talked before about how old games had good mechanics of teaching you, like Ego, Ego Raptor is someone who's talked about that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, teaching teaching by doing. Teaching so by there, doing. There that wasn't been... teaching by doing. There have been instances where, um, I'm hoping to get over 50 or so please don't give me a reply. Please don't. Okay, good. Um, so there are instances of you running into those kinds of platforms, um, where you, uh, are, are like, you can do that kind of thing, but it, that's the only place where it's required to that's so be able to dumb. that up and down. Yeah. Everything else you can just kind of jump your way through. The game misleads you. It does the reverse of teaching you. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. And so, like, and this is something we've talked about is both of us have spent months never getting past that. Point. Right. Just sitting there forever trying to figure that out. So, it, uh, uh. And when I figured that out, I got, I was infuriated. Yeah. And I think righteously so. But, uh,. <laughs> Uh, Did he just reverse it? Yeah. Uh, because we are now in boss area. Boss. And super sonic. <laughs> and super sonic. There we go. <laughs> and now I can jump high enough and not bother with the mechanics of this boss and just kind of run my face into him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, so we uh, don't even know what that boss did. No, I don't know. I will never know what that boss did. Uh, he drops the ball and then he hovers above it to pick it up, and he causes a magnetic field, which causes you to run into the electrical field and get hit. <laughs> but, but don't. But, what? I can't. I can't. What? I can't move. Bye. I can't move. Oh no! Did you screw it up? Oh no! No! Oh, oh no! Oh my god! Joe, are you kidding me? We right done now? broke it! Are you kidding me right uh -oh. now? Uh-oh. I I literally I can pause the game, but I can't move. I am too good. Okay, here's here's what I want you to do. Here's what I what? want you to do. Get in the cannon. Pick you up. No, well. Hey, we're done. Okay, hold on, get hold on, hold on. okay. Sit, sit back down. Sit back down. What? Okay, now so that way you don't get tired. Now try it again. Try it again. Pick me up. And don't get me into there. And don't press any. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh! Get in. Don't press any. Oh! 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 Get in and don't press any. Just don't. Don't press. Right, I'm anything. not pressing anything. Cause that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to press anything. That that's ridiculous. The game lets you do oh that. Oh my gosh! Wow, okay. we broke it. You broke I it. I broke it. I broke the game. <sighs> All right. Well, I, we'll get back to this. Hopefully, it registers the boss being beaten, and we can just start the next stage. Because <laughs> if we can't, guess what has to happen? No, I'll we'll just start back here, man. <sighs> Danny's gonna be seething for a little bit. We'll come back. Okay. I unbroke it. I don't know how you did it, but cuz I'm the man Gosh, I own this game Technically I own this game. <laughs> oh, I owned it too like, <laughs> Come on. I can't believe you did that. Oh, that's ridiculous. I don't know how you did that. I, I didn't know you could do that 
That is insane. That is crazy. Never ever thought about how Sonic would actually be dead if that happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> Avalanche. I'm, I'm, I That's, I am baffled. I don't know what to say about that. That might be a first in the history of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. <laughs> I doubt that, but I'm still just like, I'm flabbergasted. I am tempted to figure out other ways I can break this game now. Don't hit! Sorry, what? I said don't hit it. <laughs> I know. That was the joke. And then you hit it. That, that was the joke. I'm Super Sonic! Super Sonic! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, right up the ledge. <laughs> so fast that I can run up the ledge. Super Sonic fast! Super Sonic! Super Sonic! So, what are some other Sega games that you enjoy? Yes, I definitely had a list of different games that I played growing up in my younger years. Um, oh, by the way, before you get into that, another Knuckles pack. You bust through that wall. Ah. Just bringing that up. Okay, continue. One of note would definitely be the two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games I played. Oh, one wow. of which was the side-scroller beat-em-up Hyperstone Heist. Which is a great game. Which is an excellent game. And the other one being Tournament Fighters, a fighting game. So, did you only play the Sega version of Tournament Fighters? No, I actually had both the Genesis version and the Super Nintendo version. Nice. And apparently there's a Nintendo, like an NES version, that I did not know existed until later years. Uh, uh, uh what? Uh, <laughs> oh, is it because you have the... The lightning shield? You broke it, man! I fell too fast and they are trying to keep up, up. They don't know what to do! The ring. We keep breaking this game. We need to stop breaking the game, Dan Danny. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, continue. Our childhood. You had, you had both the Sega and, and the Super, Super Nintendo, Nintendo version. version, right? Which are both two completely different games, mm -hmm. storyline-wise. Yeah. Um, and character-wise. Wise. Yeah. And yeah. Character -wise. And yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much it was just the same in name and the fact that it was a genre of fighting game. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh. Which is very interesting that they did that. Um, I don't know which one I liked better. I probably like the Super Nintendo one better. I feel like the Super Nintendo one looked better. But it I think I enjoyed better. the Sega one more. Okay, time to throw my face against this guy. Again. One of my favorite things about the Genesis one was the taunt of. You remember Ray Filet? Ray Filet? No, no. He was the Stingray dude in the game. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one of his taunts was like something along the lines of Not right dirt bag or something like that. That's, that's like one of the first times I learned like a little kid me learning dirt bag I was dirt like bag. all right dirt bag <laughs> Did you start calling everybody a dirt bag? I probably cool? did. I think I may have remembered Oh, I kind of have a vague recollection of my mom or someone being like don't say that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, about to, I was about to ask you, like, did you call your teacher a dirtbag? <laughs> dirt hey, Joe, can you do this homework assignment? Sure thing, dirtbag. Dirt <laughs> <bag. laughs> dirt <bag. laughs> yeah, that was one of the first times I heard that word ever in my life. Yay, video games teaching you bad things. <laughs> dirtbag. <laughs> Clearly, video games have always been a bad influence in our lives. I mean, I'm talking like, this is first grade, second grade type deal here, dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Wee. Yes. Nice. But, yeah, that, that was a pretty fun fighter game. They had different characters from the Super Nintendo one. Yeah. I remember that. Boom! You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, man. Just fall up there. Whee! Uh, oh, yeah. I definitely want to go back up. But yeah, Hyperstone Heist, that was an excellent... That was oh, one of the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games of all absolutely. time. That and Turtles in Time, but Hyperstone Heist is where it all began, because I think it... That happened well, before. Well, technically, it all began with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade. True. But, <laughs> or also the NES Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, no, the, the NES was based off of the arcade. Ah. Uh, it was remade so that it made sense for an NES, but it, it, it right. otherwise is just that game. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know the arcade yeah. was. Before. Yeah, they did that with a number of arcade games. Actually, I can't. I, I can't tell you which ones offhand, but um, there are. There, oh. Okay. Oh, the first time we see those guys. Oh yeah, don't get that. Um, there are a number of NES games and Super NES games that were, um, 
originally on arcade and then remade to be uh, used for consoles. Um, great example, which is one we talked about, is Sunset Riders. Mm -hmm. um, that was originally an arcade game and then made into console. So. Yep. Oh no, my shield! I'm there it goes. Super <laughs> oh darn! <laughs> Are you just showing off? Is that what you're doing when you do that? I, mean, I didn't. Get oh hit. darn! I, I guess I have to be supersonic. I didn't get hung off. No, but the part about where you're like, oh darn! I guess. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of how I'm doing this, yes. Right. <laughs> well, shoot. All right, supersonic. It's like, oh, no, no. What oh, am I going to do? Now it's supersonic. <laughs> <laughs> and supersonic. Uh, I do wish I had my light shield. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. End of the stage, actually. Oh, dang. Don't get squished. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> How'd I How die? How did I always die? How did I die? I never understood that. Is somehow wait, we you... already beat Ice Cap Zone? Yes. Well, I mean, Supersonic. And the fact that we're not doing special stages anymore. Yeah, that helps too. Well, even then, like we're still not running into a lot of Super City or special stages. So it's they're they're much more sparse in these last few levels. Sparse, sparser. Sparser. Sparse, 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 So, speaking of sparse, what? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, yeah, this is the last level of Sonic, Sonic 3. Three part of this game. Yeah. Um, so how about we tackle it in the next video? I think we should do that. Okay, you're gonna set off the alarm, man. We'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. If you're interested in watching more videos, you can click on the left for our current playlist series or the right for the next video in the series. Thanks again.